How are you? Good. Good morning from nice Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Good evening from Queens. <laughs> yeah. My name is Joseph Stickle. Uh, I'm a tech sergeant in the United States Air Force. I'm the father of Skyward and Gwen Stickle. Um, my wife is Abby Stickle. Uh, we've been together for 17 years. I've been deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, Alaska, Nevada, Hawaii, uh, Kuwait, Germany, uh, Wisconsin, Florida, Texas, and Mississippi. Uh, some for natural disasters, others for uh, military uh, war efforts. His first deployment was actually six months after we got married. Um, and that was in 2008. And then he deployed again in 2011. And uh, then his third deployment is currently going on. Uh, so I kind of joined the military um, as a way to uh, better myself, look for a different career path, different opportunities. Um, I wanted to be able to kind of give back to the, the country. Right, pretty much when we first met and started really getting to know each other, he knew that he was wanting to go into the military, especially after 9-11 and everything, and his dad served as well in his grandfather served as well, so I think it was just in his nature to serve his country. I was not <laughs> very um, open to the military at first, but um, once you kind of figure out the mentality of service before self thing, um, it's bigger than just you, it's bigger than me. Yeah, so I am a uh, infrastructure technician. So I work on computer switches and routers for the military networks. So that basically allows all computers, phones, printers, um, classified networks, and that's about it to communicate with each other. So our guys here can, you know, send those emails from the same servers as back home, and they can. Uh, pick up a phone and dial somebody back in the United States, just like they were, you know, right in the next room over. Deployments definitely take a toll on family and husband and wife. But um, thankfully, with each deployment, technology has come leaps and bounds. Now we can FaceTime almost every single night so the girls can see their dad. Um, if I run into anything, he can pretty much pick up at any time. That kind of goes along with deployments is just being able to have that communication. Communication is very key. Some of those negatives are being away from my family. So Skyward and Gwen, I've been away from them for a little over a year now, total through their lives. Um, and then my wife, uh, I've been away for our, from her for a little over two and a half years. But a lot of I've had a lot of pros too. I mean, my family was able to. Uh, come with me to Hawaii. One thing the military has has taught me, and it, it actually starts right in basic training, is that uh, uh, doing simple tasks to the best of your abilities and accomplishing those um, makes you feel like you've accomplished more. So like one of the greatest things that I've, I've read in multiple articles and things is, is making your bed. So as soon as you make your bed, after you wake up, you've already accomplished one thing in your whole day. And to be able to start off you know, two minutes after you wake up and accomplish something uh, and continue accomplishing that same task for weeks, months, years uh, allows you to, like, prove to yourself that you can keep doing better and bigger things. You work very hard for what you have and uh, what you want in life, and you can accomplish anything if you truly try your hardest to, to get where you want to be. Thank you so much, obviously, for your service okay. and for uh, willing, yeah. being willing to do this. We like to celebrate, you know, veterans at our school this month and, yeah. you know, tell your story and hopefully the kids can be empathetic towards that and appreciate your service. So yeah. thank you for all you've done. No, thank you very much. I appreciate you doing this. This is, this is awesome.